All right, boys, here we go. Striker versus Pendulum. You already know who's going to win. Like, it's not even a debate. But Striker still is the most prominent deck at the moment. Uh, I'm not playing FYI. I'm just uh, one of my friends playing sent me this replay. Kill Switch versus Hacks, whoever the hell Hacks is. But Kill Switch is going to win because he's my boy. And no boy, mine's going to lose to Shit Striker. All right, so let's see what happens. He opens up, you know, classic Ray and Field Spell. It's a... Uh, Rayfield spells honestly it's a fantastic combination. It's a free way to pop. It's a free plus. It's a good combination. It's a good good combo for the deck, but whatever. It's not like the deck's good anyways. But hey, we'll move this. Uh yeah, we'll move this out here. Who cares about the chat here? But that way you guys can actually see the like, cards in case you don't know what's getting played. And yeah, basically there's only one reason Pendulum well, there's many reasons Pendulum are better than strikers, but I wanted to give this video so you guys get an understanding of how to beat Striker. Because a lot of Pendulum players, for some reason, still don't understand how to beat St Sky Striker. Even though it's extremely easy and straightforward. So, he opens good here. He opens Engage. Uh, he has, he, he's going to go for double, the double Engage place. So he's going to have two Engages for next turn. He's going to have the Quick Place spell and another Interruption. So, two Interruptions and whatever Hand Trap he has. So, let's see how the deck does. Here, here's the Hand. It's a good hand for Pendulum, obviously, uh, like every hand Pendulum's open great. So we have the body desire to bait out in Ash. Like, I want you to keep in mind here how easy Pendulums can win. Striker, he opened great. If you wanted, you could have two, three interruptions, but no engages. But now for his next turn, he's going to have two engages, plus the engage he's going to get from Kagari. The, the next guy's going to have three engages to start his next turn. Obviously, that's amazing. You have to OTK them now. We have to OTK through a Ray, through an Interruption, through a possible Hand Trap, and through another Back Row, which might be another, which probably another Interruption. So, Desire is going to give Shrine and Chrono. Shrine at this point is useless because the pen call. He didn't Ash the Desire, uh, otherwise he would have Shrine first to bait out the other Ash, but you already baited out the Ash. And boom, pen call Dark Worm obviously is fantastic. Off the bat, going to Dark Worm. As you're going to have another 0, he activates it, gets 0. And again, solely the point is just to OTK. Uh, at this point, you're going to want to bait out the one interruption you know he has, which is the Widow. So the best way to bait out a Widow is going to an Electrum. Obviously, he's going to have to negate the negate that. And now we have a second interruption we don't know about. We're going to assume it's a Widow. That's how I would assume as I'm playing. So I'm going to put two scales up. Off the bat, he's going to MST the zero, which is fine. Or oh, MST is going to be useless anyways. In the situation, we're gonna put Ulf down. We got scales. We're gonna pendulum summon our whole hand out. Uh, well, oh, actually, I would not have bring out the harmonizer. I would have pendulum summoned these two actually. That's what I would have done. But he's gonna keep going. It doesn't matter to be honest. You can just go into rank four, activate shrine. You know, like it's easy game here. Uh, activate that to create damage on that shrine. Just to put a counter on jackal to negate the ray. And like I said, you just blitzkrieg through the interruptions. Like the interruptions don't clear your board. They just stop effects. Which is irrelevant, and then you just get easy OTK. So I just want you guys to get a lesson there, more theory to understand how to beat Striker. There's a lot of you, even though I'm bad, I still keep up with the game a lot. Uh, too many of you guys don't understand how to the theory behind beating Strikers. It's an easy theory. You just have to understand the theory, and it's extremely easy. You literally just OTK. If we didn't OTK there, the guy's gonna have three engages to start his next turn. Two engages plus one he got from Kagari. So you're not beating a deck that has three access to three engages and a bunch of spells in there. He's gonna be eating three free draws and three free interruptions, like like three free uh, cards to pop all your cards that are each of them are gonna have their own plus one. Like that's like a pl three engages after turn one is a plus six. So you're not overcoming a plus six. The only way to beat that plus six is by OTK before they're allowed to use that plus, right? So that's the whole game plan. You got to stick to the game plan and OTK. The heck out of that deck. So, new game now. Uh, my boy thought obviously he was going to be going second. So, he decided to Danko and Twister. Cards that are great against his deck. Especially open Dark Worm. But Danko. Danko is MVP against his deck. Straight up auto win against Strikers. Everyone must be citing Dankos now. The Strikers are this relevant. So, I'll show you guys what happens. Here. Boom. The opponent lets my friend go first. That's something else Strikers do often. So, uh... He got him there by signing two cards that are useless going first. And now at this point, uh, this is the hand. So, 
Shrine will probably be useless because I don't know if you play two zeros or not. Might have banished one as well. But you can do a few stuff here. You could Shrine, Dark Worm. If you can get another zero, cool. Cerberus, if you have another Jackal, Electrum. But one hand drop stops it and your turn ends. No Magician to trigger Pendulum Graph. So he opts to just end his turn. He could have done some stuff, but he was playing safe. Cyclers can't OTK. They're not going to be doing much anyways. The turn after, he's following the advice that I'm telling you, which is OTK. Next turn, you already know he's going to summon the Denko. And he's going to do all his moves and then it wins. So, that's the plan there. It's a good plan. I like it. Uh, you don't always need to... If they ever let you go first, like, this is another great theory there. Like, he didn't need to... If, if his Electrum got hand-trapped, his turn ended, right? He drew too many side cards. You don't want to... Uh, if the Electrum went through, he had a great turn. But you don't want to rely on that. You do not want to rely on the Electrum surviving. If there's a situation where you know you're playing Striker... You might get OT, uh, you might, uh, you're not going to get OTK'd. You have Danko in hand, like in this situation. Just wait a turn. Wait a turn. Who cares? Who cares what they're going to do? Because their back goes irrelevant. Summon Danko, win. Like, summon Danko, summon all your, uh, Pendulum Summon, just attack for game, win. So, that situation here, we're now waiting to see what his turn's going to bring the opponent. And he brings up Ray again. Okay, so Ray, obviously, this guy is like, Ray brings out that. Another 15, okay. You know, just classic, there's a few damage, irrelevant damage, who cares, because next turn he's getting OTK'd, and then brings out Kagari, okay, okay. Alright, so, good for him, got himself a free engage, big deal, you're getting otk next turn, gets a Widow that Denko is going to stomp on, sets a bunch of cards that Denko is going to stomp on, and Shizuku gets a card that's irrelevant, because Denko is going to, oh, Denko can't stop Area 0, but who cares where Area 0, boom. We draw a Magician, which is good. Off the bat, obviously, well, you're going to Shrine, and then, uh, yeah, Dark Worm, you're going to want to do that before he plays 2-0, all right? Now that you brought out the Worm, summon that Denko, ah, ah, what are you going to do now? Cerberus, Jackal, and, uh, uh so he's going to bring out Cerberus, and... Oh, so he has a response. Oh, so he goes over as a Cerberus. He goes over as a Cerberus because, uh, oh, that was a good play. He goes over as a, as a Cerberus because uh, Electrum would have hurt really bad here. Now he can't make an Electrum. Uh, so, normally Ogre sucks in that situation. I think I would have actually Ogre the Electrum because most likely he's going to use Electrum's effect. But here he does a heads up play. He's going to activate Twin Twister to pop his own Oaf Dragon, uh, triggering Pendulum Graph to get a high scale. It is a great play. Good job, my friend. Saw that. Fantastic play. He's going to put zero on Fang and scale. Going to Pendulum Summon uh, his two cards. The place where Suzuka points to in that. Uh, makes an Electrum because he can now. And here he actually could have OTK'd. Uh, he does a middle little misplay. Not that it's relevant because the strikers suck. But uh, he pops that. Brings that out. What he could have done because you see Pen Call was not activated. Unless he banished it. He could, he was going to negate the ray when it comes out. So he could half, uh, uh, half it. One sec, let's do some more calculations here. If he has a purple, we don't know if there's a purple poison. It must have been banished, otherwise he would have brought out purple poison. Uh, or another fang, and it would have been enough for game. If there was a purple poison here, it was enough for game. By halving this, bring it to 750. 1, 2, 3, 4. The count is 1150, one other thing has 400. 1150 will be 650. Uh, 650, 3050. 50-50, Oh, wow. Even if he had poison, you'll be 50 off. So, he doesn't do it there. So, that's good. That's good. All right. So, that's not, that's not a misplay. But 50 off. Doesn't fang. Don't, no need to waste it. Uh, obviously, Jackal's going to negate the ray when he intends to bring it out. And just does enough damage there. Uh, then, to go into Naruto later. And he's set up fantastically. Uh, so, at the moment, and saving the Wisdom is a heads-up play with Pendulum Graph. Uh, wisdom connects to bring into a... You can use them effect next turn. Oh, uses it now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, you didn't use Oaf Dragon yet. Gets Wisdom back. And boom. So, off the bat, he can't activate anything. Because of Denko. Can't set anything. Can't activate anything. Uh, he activates uh, the field spell. Popping the back row. Not that it matters. Gets a Ray, which is good for him. Uh, I would have probably got the spell. But, I probably would have got the spell to pop his own back row. Uh, hit something else, but it probably means that he didn't have access to a raise. He's one of the Kagari, obviously. He's gonna get the Widow, 
And he's going to attack the Denko. Obviously, now he can use his other back row. Uses a Typhoon on the spell. And then Twin Twister on the scales. Thinking that he won't be able to... I would have narito I think I would have narito the... Oh, but he didn't narito because he had... I would have still narito uh just to get rid of the... Uh, you still want to activate a spell. So, I would have used a Narito just to uh, use its effect. And if you use Narito's effect, uh, Jack would have been in Grave. He would negate Narito. And then, because Fang would die, you would bring out Jackal. So, that was a small misplay there. But it's irrelevant because Pendulum's still going to win best deck. And it draws a card with Fusion. Irrelevant. Uh, Electrum drew there because a uh, card left. But I would have 100% used Narito to negate. Uh, knowing he had an interruption. Just a free Jackal on the field. And why not uh, interrupt... Uh, uh, want like stop one of his cards, and now uh, he's only at 2000, so it should be fairly simple to OTK. Activate Electrum effect, popping wisdom, uh, to get a fang. Uh, <coughs> uh, draws a Danko, which is <laughs> that's nice. I would have uh, normal summoned it right away, but he keeps he activates desires, gets two cards there. Normal Danko, Cerberus, Fang, Pendulum summons, uh, from four to eight, so it brings out an oaf and a jackal, probably or another oaf, doesn't matter, and simply. Just attacks. So, like I said, you don't gotta outgrind the strikers. You just gotta be crafty and OTK. That's all you gotta do. That's an OTK. You can't activate anything. Denko is a fantastic card in this deck. Even if there wasn't a Denko, he's gonna take something. He's gonna attempt to take something to read on the gate. Boom! Attack for game. Easy W for Pendulum. Pendulum's win. Striker lose. Hope you guys like the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.